Smoke bombs in the courtyard of London Somerset House at the launch of a new collection of street art. 17 global artists have come together with the intention of offering a positive perspective on graffiti and street art. The curator says he's hoping to challenge the idea that they are tantamount to vandalism or depict society in a negative way. I think the purpose of this exhibition for me, for AYP and for Somerset House, is to try and put graffiti on a platform which it normally isn't. We want to say that graffiti isn't something which is purely dystopian, it's something which is actually very beautiful, not just in terms of its aesthetic, but for what it forces these participants to do. It forces them to push themselves, to push themselves over boundaries physically, socially, legally, aesthetically. The display includes work from American street artist Shepard Ferry, who also designed President Obama's Hope campaign poster, and Swoon, who specializes in life-size wheat paste prints and paper cutouts of figures. These drawings by street artist Alton are actually a game that he designed. Located in the courtyard of Somerset House, every time someone entered the courtyard, he had to follow their movements with his pen. Russian street artist Petros specifically created the piece Utopia Security Code and High Visibility Graffiti for this exhibition. In it, he demonstrates the power of high visibility clothing. Street artists have been known to disguise themselves in high-vis jackets to gain access to restricted parts of the city, such as train tracks. He suggests that this attire gives people the superpower of invisibility, playing on the idea of hiding in plain sight. Visitors to the exhibition are encouraged to put them on. Graffiti and street art is unofficial work that is produced by independent artists. But they vary in aesthetic. Graffiti is traditionally letter or text-based, and street art may include sculptures and installations. Public art, street art, graffiti, they all belong in the public sphere, in public space. They're trying to find a solution to an issue, whether that's an aesthetic issue or a cultural issue. Or a political one, like the smoke bombs used by Italian artist Filippo Minelli. We just created this work by using the aesthetic uh, of protest, so mixing flags and text and smoke bomb explosions uh, to uh, like represent this need of going further in, uh, like in our thinking and our approach to uh, political issues. Tell me about the smoke bombs as an artistic device. Well, I started using smoke bombs many years ago um, to represent silence as a physical shape. So I was inspired by political demonstrations and I was noticing all the smoke coming in the scene and of course people couldn't breathe and you couldn't see anything so the smoke was silencing everything visually and acoustically. So I had this uh, intuition of like seeing smoke as the physical shape of silence taken into the scene. This exhibition disrupts the idea of graffiti as a dystopian movement by presenting it as a collective art form, a culture that ventures beyond physical and aesthetic boundaries. All of the contributors to this exhibition have a background in graffiti or street art. Mike Ballard started his career in 1986. What appealed to me about graffiti was the, uh, the impact of it and the immediacy and just the, the adventure associated with it. It wasn't just the actual painting, it was the whole process and the, the actions that you had to go through to achieve to make the painting. You know, it wasn't simply just painting at a canvas, you know, at an easel. You were actually out in the environment. It's, you know, it's quite adventurous as, as a, a young teenager. And the idea of climbing into places where you're not meant to be and it being illegal and the risk of death, it was really appealing. I saw it as like an extreme sport within the city. By bringing this international collection of work into a shared space, the exhibition promotes the idea of graffiti and street art as a shared creative form that belongs to everyone. Graffiti is often seen to be an exploit done by a kind of lone individual at night, someone kind of disaffected. But actually graffiti is an amazingly social practice. Graffiti writers uh, will write their collective's name as much as they write their own name. That social aspect of it is vitally important, not only in terms of traveling, meeting people, going to paint with other people, but that whole social, cultural element of graffiti is as important as the aesthetic, like the visible image itself. The exhibition is on at Somerset House in London until May 2016. Joe Munich, TRT World, London.